welcome in chemical education in the subject analytical chemistry in this video we are going to see the solvent extraction with this the introductory part principle of solvent extraction distribution coefficient distribution ratio the relation between these two terms then factors affecting solvent extraction percentage extracted the solvent extraction method separation factor batch extraction counter extraction applications of solvent extraction and some numerical problems now this method the solvent of solvent extraction is a very simple and easy it has a the simple apparatus used for the separation it can be used for macro level as well as micro level it is a rapid technique and it separate minor and major constituent now with respect to this principle of this technique a solute can be distributed in a certain ratio between two immiscible solvent now here in this technique we have to take the two immiscible solvent and one of them may be aqueous and another is organic solvent now whatever the component dissolve in the aqueous solution then we have to add the organic solvent and from the aqueous solution one of the component get extracted in the organic solvent and can be removed easily in this way the one of the component from the mixture can be extracted by using this technique and on this principle it can utilize for the separation now the mixture of the two phases may be like water benzene water carbon tetrachloride water chloroform like that we can use these two type of mixtures together these are the immiscible solvents now it works on the principle as a like dissolve like now polar compound dissolve in a polar liquid that is ionic compound dissolve in the maximum in the water and non polar compound like covalent compounds they dissolve into non polar solvents on this basis this work now in case of the separation technique the solvent extraction two terms are most important that is a distribution coefficient and distribution ratio now distribution coefficient is related to the kd it is also called as a partition coefficient now when a solute distribute themselves between the two immiscible liquids in contact and the equilibrium with each other the ratio of the concentration of solute in the two liquids is constant at a constant temperature now this law is applicable for a dilute solution same molecular state of the solute in the both solvent now this distribution coefficient it is denoted by k and it is given in terms of the kd equal to the concentration of solute in organic solvent divided by concentration of the solute in the aqueous solvent now in case of for example in case of benzoic acid the benzoic acid when dissolve into the water that is benzoic acid in aqueous medium and when it is dissolved into the organic solvent like ether then it is a benzoic acid in terms of the e that is in the organic layer now another term that is a distribution ratio now it is the ratio of total concentration of the solute in organic phase to the total concentration of solute in aqueous phase now the difference in the distribution ratio and different uh, diff distribution coefficient by definition they are looking like the same but what happen in case of the benzoic acid for example the distribution ratio is given as d equal to the concentration of benzoic acid in organic layer that is undissolved part there because it is not ionized it is a remain with the organic solvent that is a by formation of the association and divided by when it dissolve into the water the some part of the benzoic acid get dissolve and to give the formation of benz bz minus ion in the aqueous and some part of the benzoic acid is remain as it is in the undissolved part now 
in case of the distribution coefficient the same example here the distribution of kd is equal to the undissolved part of the benzoic acid in organic solvent divided by undissolved part of the benzoic acid but in this the distribution ratio this part is additional part that is a ionized part and therefore this only the difference in the distribution coefficient and distribution ratio now relation between these two terms now ionization constant we, we are we are going to see the ionization constant for the benzoic acid in water and it is given as ka equal to the concentration of hydrogen ion in water into the concentration of ben bh minus benzoic ion into the aqueous water divided by total concentration of the benzoic acid in aqueous or water now from this equation we can calculate the value of bh minus a is equal to this part okay this will transfer here and divided by the concentration of hydrogen ion now the we know that the distribution coefficient that is a kd equal to it is the ratio of benzoic acid in organic solvent divided by the with the aqueous solvent now from this equation we can calculate the value of benzoic acid in the organic solvent now this quantity and this quantity if we substitute into the quantity of the distribution ratio formula that is this numerator is related to this and in the denominator the value of this bz minus ion is related to the ka now by substituting these values in this equation therefore we get this equation that is d equal to the kd into bracket the concentration of the benzoic acid in aqueous divided by concentration of benzoic acid in aqueous plus ka into into the benzoic acid in aqueous divided by hydrogen ion in aqueous now all these parts are related to the uh, benzoic acid distributed into the aqueous solution and only the kd uh, kd is related to the how much quantity get transfer into the organic low layer now therefore this all values are related to the aqueous only the kd now in case of this now by substituting by readjusting the this value is taken common and they get cancel and we get the formula d is equal to kd upon 1 plus into bracket ka upon hydrogen ion concentration now here all this part is related to hydrogen ion concentration present in the water and equilibrium constant of the benzoic acid or any salt and kd is related to the ratio of the this salt transfer into organic solvent divided by the transfer into the aqueous layer now the, from this equation one can understand that the value of hydrogen ion concentration if higher value or lower value on this basis how much they can transfer into the organic solvent or how much extraction process is beneficial or very uh, good uh, extraction is depend on how much hydrogen ion that is how much it is distributed into the water now if the hydrogen ion concentration is higher that is this denominator of this denominator is higher then than the ka then this product this product is less and therefore one plus small value and therefore there is no effect and d is nearly equal to the kd if the kd is large now this value is large than this denominator then what happen this value is large and therefore what happen the acid will extracted in the organic solvent more because this large that means here the benzoic acid concentration in organic solvent is greater than the water and therefore it can be extracted more or fastly and if this concentration of hydrogen ion is less than this k then this product is a maximum and therefore one minus maximum product therefore what happen the d is less than kd and then solute remains into the aqueous solvent and therefore we require the maximum number of the extraction in this way the distribution ratio and distribution coefficient can be related with the help of uh, it can be helpful for extraction how many extraction we required it can be calculated easily or can be concluded easily now factors affecting the solvent extraction now solvent extraction we know that the one of the component should be transfer into the organic solvent and if it is restricted then 
the sonant extraction process get uh, not that much easy but when uh, one of the component is immediately transferred into the organic solvent then this uh, solvent extraction is a good uh, solvent extraction or uh, it can be helpful for uh, separation now for uh, to make the more easy then we have to add the masking agent suppose one of the component now this component we have to extract it but it is not transferred into the organic solvent then what happened the another compound we have to add into the solution that is this compound get mask and then this whole compound that is maybe a complex like that compound it can be dis dissolved into the immediate uh, immediately dissolve into the organic solvent and therefore it can be extracted easily and therefore it affect on the uh, solvent extraction process or uh, uh, beneficial for the solvent extraction now in case of the synergetic uh, uh, agent now this type of agent we can add into the compound now what happen suppose one of the compound get transferred into the organic solvent it requires maximum uh, maximum uh, efforts because it's less solubility but suppose we are uh, adding the similar type of compound then this compound gives the maximum effect to dissolve the compound now in this way this can be uh, added to give the better separation now oxidation state is also affected on the solvent extraction whether it is a first uh, oxidation state one two three now which type of oxidation state we require to dissolve on this basis we can transfer the oxidation state of one of the compound it can be increases or can be decreases with the help of the another compound in this way oxidation state also affect the uh, solvent extraction process then salting out agent now we know that the we can uh, adjust the common ion effect we can use the common ion effect to uh, increase or decreases the solubility and if it is a decrease the solubility or increase the solubility it affect on the solvent extraction now ph of the solution next factor is a ph of the solution because different ph for different metals are required to dissolve or to transfer into the organic solvent in this way the ph is also affected on the solvent extraction then some modifiers are there now uh, when we are adding the modifiers like masking agent now these type of modifiers are there uh, instead of masking agent it completely mask the compound but in case of the modifier so it increases or increases the solubility of compound into the organic solvent and therefore such a type of uh, factors are there which can affect the solvent extraction now if you if you see the efficiency of this extraction process in terms of the percentage extraction now by using this formula we when can one can calculate easily the what is the percentage of extraction now here in this formula the percentage of e is equal to concentration of solute in organic solvent into volume taken for the uh, extraction divided by the um, uh, summation of the product of the solute in organic and solute in the uh, aqueous medium with the uh, into the its volume into 100 now from this product we can calculate the percentage of extraction now this percentage of extraction in terms of the d once you know that the distribution ratio it is very easy to calculate the percentage of extraction now here by using this formula uh, the percentage of e is equal to 100 into d upon d plus into bracket the volume ratio and this volume ratio suppose they are equal then uh, we can use this uh, as a percentage extraction it is related to 100 into d divided by d plus 1 by using this formula we can calculate once you know the distribution uh, ratio uh, value of d then percentage extraction can be calculated easily now when we are taking the uh, this extraction uh, we can use the single step extraction and uh, multiple step extraction now for example suppose value of d and it is related to the extraction percentage now if you look towards the first example if when d is equal to 0 0.001 and if you substitute this value d into the formula of the percentage extraction then we can calculate it is nearly equal to the 0.099 percent if d value is this if d value is increases to 100 then percentage of extraction is 99 percent if d value is increases still like 500 then percentage of extraction is like this and d value is up to the thousand the percentage of extraction is this now if you look towards this this as a d value is increases the uh, percentage of extraction may be uh, calculated and we can plot the graph here 
percentage of extraction versus the log d then it is observed that as a d value is gone increases the percentage extraction is gone increases and finally up to the 100 percentage uh, we can see the percentage value uh, the d value is there now after increasing the d value that uh, not that much for difference is there but from 0 0.01 to 10 or up to the you know, 100 uh, uh, d value then the percentage extraction is increased and therefore to keep the uh, higher percentage of extraction we can keep the d value is in between the 10 to uh, 100 now in this way the uh, d value should be there now in case of the uh, very small quantity of the uh, material or small quantity of the any uh, extracted material is only small tra uh, quantity transfer into the organic solvent then we require the multiple extraction now from this multiple extraction we can find out the un uh, extracted part present in the uh, aqueous solvent wn uh, can be calculated with this formula wn equal to wa into bracket va upon dv0 plus va uh, into uh, or raised to the n now n is the number of extraction required to how much quantity of unextracted extracted can be removed from the solution now where wa is the uh, initial quantity of the solute in aqueous phase while wn is the quantity of the solute in gram or uh, milligram um, gram moles per uh, remaining extracted into the solution and the va is the volume of water we are uh, you uh, taken for the solution and v0 is the amount of or quantity of the uh, organic solvent we use the uh, for every extraction and n is the how many number of extractions are there now from this formula one can find out how many uh, number of extractions are required for suppose 10 ml of uh, organic solvent uh, used for each extraction or if we increase the volume 10 ml to 100 ml how much extractions are required to recover all or to extract the maximum quantity of the uh, compound in this way, uh, by using this formula, we can calculate the extraction, uh, number of extraction and how much quantities remain. Now, uh, there are number of types of extraction systems are available. Now, out of which these four systems are there. First is the iron association complex uh, system. Now here, what happened the, when we have to extract one of the iron from the uh, aqueous solution to the organic phase, then we have to use such a type of the uh, masking agents can be used and uh, this masking agent form the association bond and therefore ion association complex is formed suppose this is a metal and metal cannot be extracted easily into the organic solvent then this metal to make the form formation of the complex with the some certain ligand and this ligand make the association with the solvent or organic solvent and after association what happened it can be dissolved into the or transfer into the organic solvent and can be removed easily now in this way the ion association complex uh, can be used uh, the one of the type now for example in case of the fe3 and hcl we get the formation of this complex and this form complex can be dissolved into the easily into the uh, ether and therefore iron can be uh, water solution or aqueous solution we can extract with the help of organic solvent like ether now another method is a solvation solvation means the whatever the ions are formed into the water that uh, pol uh, polar molecules are there polar ions are there cations and anions are there they are not easily transferred into the organic solvent for this purpose what happened we have to form the bonding with the solvent and such a type of solvation uh, 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 components can be added to uh, dissolve these uh, ions into the certain association bond and, and immediately they can transfer into the organic solvent and can be extracted easily now another is the formation of the chelate now uh, similar to the ion association form the complex formation but here the complex is formed in the ring form and metal ion can be bind with the certain, uh, certain uh, ring form uh, ligand and to get the to get the formation of one of the complex which is highly soluble into the uh, organic solvent and can be removed easily and after that it can be uh, detected or measured its amount or quantity can be determined by using the uh, different methods now another uh, method is there the synergistic method extraction is there uh, we can use such a type of component uh, combined component and the, by, by combined component the, uh, we can increase the extraction percentage or enhance the percentage of extraction in this way these type of uh, methods can be used for the extraction system uh, 
now another uh, the choice of solvent is most important because the choice of the organic solvent is most important first solvent is water but another solvent is a organic solvent now this organ organic solvent on the basis of the some factors we can choose now it has a high distribution ratio for the solute and low uh, for the impurity impurity cannot be uh, transferred uh, into the organic solvent but distribution ratio the maximum solute get transferred into the organic solvent now it has a low solubility in aqueous phase that is immiscible it should be a immiscible then low viscosity and sufficient difference in the density that's why it can be uh, the upper layer uh, can be uh, gives as an organic solvent uh, uh, because of the density then low toxicity and inflammability because we are using the number of times this uh, solvent therefore it should be have low toxicity and inflammability and it can be uh, easily uh, recover by the uh, by using the distillation uh, apparatus and we can uh, again recycle this uh, compound therefore it is a it shows the low toxicity it uh, handle uh, with the care then uh, easy to recover the solute from the solvent is solvent after extraction the solute can be immediately uh, recover from the compound such a type of properties should be obeyed by the uh, solvent organic solvent that solvent can be used for the extraction now this technique uh, gives the uh, another uh, like batch extraction uh, continuous extraction now this technique having the post is the batch extraction uh, we can use the simple apparatus like say, uh, separating panel now uh, this uh, technique is used batch extraction process is used for the such a type of component where the distribution ratio is large now by using the separating funnel apparatus we can use this uh, and after vigorous shaking we have to add the solution uh, into the separating funnel and we can add the uh, uh, known quantity of the organic solvent on that and after shaking what happened they mix together and organic solvent extract the one of the component from the uh, aqueous solution and then we have to allow to settle down uh, settle for the certain time after shaking uh, uh, the solution then allow to sh the stand for a certain 10 to 15 minutes and then what happen the organic solvent gets separate from the mixture and in the organic solvent the whatever the compound we have to extract it uh, dissolves into the organic solvent and after certain time what happened the organic solvent and aqueous solvent get separate from one another and we can remove from the separating funnel the you know, both solutions and the organic solvent get uh, allowed to transport to the distillation distillation and then uh, we can remove the solvent and uh, we can isolate the compound whatever the our target is there that can, compound can be isolated now these two uh, layers get uh, separated one another it requires just only the 10 to 15 minutes and after that we can use this uh, separation now another method is a continuous method now uh, in case of the separating funnel uh, uh, the distribution ratio is uh, very large but when distribution ratio of the these component or mixture uh, from the uh, mixture ab now uh, this uh, distribution ratio is low then we can use the continuous extraction like, like a solvent extract uh, by using the soxalate apparatus now in this soxalate apparatus initially what happened we have to take the uh, uh, so pure solvent pure organic solvent is uh, into the round bottom flask and compound is kept into the soxalate apparatus here now after that what happened we have to boil this solution and transfer the whatever the vapors are there these vapors are transferred here and after condensation we can collect this uh, into this soxalate apparatus and after uh, uh, solvent coming here the whatever the compound present in the uh, soxalate apparatus we kept in the mixture the one of the component get extracted or dissolved into the organic solvent and after com uh, completion of this level uh, immediately what happened this solvent is transferred from this tube and again transferred here means uh, whatever the dissolve compound uh, get dissolved into this solvent it transfer into the uh, flask and it allowed to transfer here now slowly it transfer uh, from, from this level to the this level and it can be transferred completely and again reuse this process now again what happened the, the solvent get again boil transfer here and it collected here and after collection of the here uh, then uh, this level is reaches to above this then immediately the solvent get transferred into the flask and whatever the com extracted compound is there this compound get collected into the flask 
and again freshly what happen is uh, again boil the fresh solvent vapor pure uh, in the pure form they again we have this vapor transfer here and after condensation again the fresh solvent is there and due to this what happen number of times this is a continuous process by number of times the compound get extracted and transfer into the flask in this way uh, for a, a low difference in the distribution ratio uh, we can use the oxalate apparatus now suppose that the uh, this ratio is uh, still very low then we can use the uh, another continuous extraction method that is the crack tube method now this crack tube method the shape of the crack tube method is like this now this end of the tube is connected to the first tube and uh, this transfer here like this and the end of this tube is connected to the third tube now in this way uh, each and every tubes are connected to uh, uh, each uh, every uh, tube and like this it may be the 10 tubes are there in uh, 100 tubes are there 500 tubes uh, can be connected or 1000 tube can be connected now what happened initially in the first tube uh, 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 we have to take the solvent here a solution here aqueous solution uh, we have to keep the amount is just only the in this tube now after rotation what happened uh, after rotation uh, coming the solution solution suppose this uh, tube is con uh, rotated by 90 degrees then what happened the whatever the solution is kept here transfer from this level to this level and again again re uh, rotate by 90 degree the whatever the solution is collected here it transfer here and transfer to the next solution now first uh, initially what happened the whatever the aqueous solution is there this aqueous solution is allowed to pass and we, we have to rotate this uh, by 90 degree and again re uh, 90 degree or anti clockwise direction and then uh, in each tube the solution get the, there and after poor rotation the this quantity of uh, level uh, is remain into the every tube and then we have to pass the organic solvent from this tube and after that what happened after rotation uh, this solution is coming here and whatever the organic solvent is there extra solution uh, solvent is there it extracted uh, uh, removed uh, taken the very small quantity and transferred to from this tube to this tube and again it remained there and again the uh, anti clockwise by 90 degree this solution is coming here and transferred to the next tube in this way the organic solvent is passing from left to right and aqueous solution is remain there and for every time this uh, fresh organic solvent is allowed to pass and from the last tube we can collect the organic solvent with the extracted compound in this way uh, crack tube method is used for very very low difference in the uh, uh, distribution ratio the uh, oxalate apparatus can be used the distribution ratio is low uh, in the moderate and the separating funnel can be used when distribution ratio is large in this way the uh, uh, batch extraction and continuous extraction can be used for the uh, uh, this separation now advantages of this uh, solvent extraction is uh, very simple because this is uh, based on the very simple principle it requires a simple apparatus like uh, uh, separating funnel or oxalate apparatus or uh, crack tube method now it can be used for wide range of the concentrations uh, for any concentration we can use this the separation is a uh, very rapid uh, it can be used for purification separation and prepar uh, preparation of the extraction uh, in this way uh, we can use uh, uh, this method uh, the method uh, and operation is uh, are very easy and simplest and it is very fast I mean, in this way we can use this now applications of the uh, solvent extraction uh, for example the uh, in case of the masking agent we can uh, use uh, then uh, we can use the ligand to extract the one of the metal from the solution now like for example 8 hydroxyquinolinate it can be used for to remove the uh, ferric ion present in the solution uranium ion from the solution but by using the different ph we can uh, uh, remove uh, the uh, one of the component now in case of the medical uh, field the lead from the blood can be extracted easily with the help of this technique and uh, it has a, a large application in the uh, separation of the component when distribution on the basis of distribution ratio and uh, for metal from the alloy uh, with the by, by changing the different ph we can uh, remove the metal from the mixture by using the separating funnel now uh, this solvent extraction in this tube uh, mm -hmm. we uh, discuss on the uh, introductory part then uh, distribution coefficient distribution ratio 
relation between the distribution ratio and distribution coefficient uh, factors affecting the solvent extraction percentage extracted solvent extraction method separation factor batch extraction counter current extraction and some applications of the uh, extraction thank you